Yo, what's going on guys, Beza? In today's video, I apparently got the best settings for ranked mode in Fortnite Battle Royale. But Beza, what do you mean apparently? So if I go to my YouTube comment section and I select comments that I responded to, and I scroll down for quite a while, a subscriber called George Bryan, EW5GC, commented, Baze, please try my aimbot settings next. And then he commented his aimbot settings. And I responded, linear, I'm guessing. I'll try them out because they look like linear settings. And he said, it's expo. Thank you, by the way. And that was two months ago. So I told him I was going to try his settings out. And my next upload came along and I didn't. I genuinely was going to, but I just literally forgot. But then my latest upload came along. I copied Fearless's aimbot settings in chapter 5. And George commented again, and he commented he's been waiting to see me play with his settings. Hi, I'll try them out next video. I forgot, sorry. And then I put in brackets Saturday. And this video isn't actually my latest upload. I did actually upload last Saturday, but I had to take that video down. And in that video that I uploaded, after I'd actually told him I was going to upload the, his settings in that video, I did it. Hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Sorry. So I'm trying out his settings in today's video. Now to test out whether these settings are good, we're going to try them out in two games of Zone Wars. What we actually do is try to go 10-0 in box fights and 10-0 in 1v1s. And if I can't win them all, these settings aren't good enough. And guys, do you want to double your aim strength? Of course you do. Well, I know a way on how you can do that. What you guys have to do is go back to the Fortnite item shop, put in code BAYS, that's code B-A-Y-Double-Z, and then boom, just like that, you double your aim strength. But in all seriousness, guys, I do appreciate you reading these settings videos on a weekly basis to make you a best player in Fortnite Battle Royale. Hopefully you get you to unreal rank if you haven't hit it already. Then use code BAYS is a great way to support me. And if you think you already have it in, it resets every 14 days to make sure to go and check and re-put it in. But also, guys, I really do appreciate every single person that uses code base. It's, it's, it's a pro. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Like the video within the next five seconds if you brush your teeth this morning. If you're not liking the video right now, you're literally gross. Okay, now we're just loading some box fights against this player. These settings do feel like they'd be good some good box fighting. Uh... Let me take this. I've never actually played this map. Oh, bro, I'm so rusty. Oh, bro, look at my mechanics. They're so bad. Oh, this is embarrassing. I'm playing so bad. Okay, nice. That's one. Oh, we're playing. We're, I'm playing so bad right now. Oh! Bro. Okay, the aim. The aim. I'm seeing. I'm seeing it. Okay. Bro, I'm seeing it. I might just quickly fly 10-0. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing why these settings, you're saying these settings are so good. Oh! 31. What? What? Oh! Bro, these settings. Bro, no, they're actually good. Wait, wait. Oh, bro. That was so bad. You didn't think I was going to do it to him. Tenno, George, 9.7. He's saying he's going to 9.7 so far. We got the 1v1s coming up now. Damn, they, I actually felt that. I felt the aim there. I felt the aim there, I'm not going to lie. 9.7 so far. Let's get into 1v1s and let's see what we can do with them. Today's video is sponsored by Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail has been awarded the Best Game of the Year Award 2023 on Google Play and App Store, as well as the Best Mobile Game at the Game Awards 2023. It's an original multi-platform galactic fantasy RPG from Hoyaverse, who are the makers of Genshin Impact. It's free to play on PC, PS5 and mobile device. With shared data between all platforms. To PS5 players, if you want to play, just search it up on the PlayStation Store. I'm here today to let you guys know that the new 2.1 version has arrived for the game's first anniversary, with new added characters and Penaconi, Rich Game Series, and fresh, fun new gameplay. And guys, in the first year, Honkai Star Rail had over 100 million downloads. As a trailblazer, you explore the different worlds across the universe and immerse yourself in an insane adventure filled with impeccable music and animation. The new turn based experience is easy to pick up yet tactical, allowing you to conjure unique team lineups and strategies according to your enemies, environments, etc. And guys, you'll never get bored because there's over 30 playable characters. And in this new 2.1 update, there'll be even more characters for you guys to experience. It's a rich semi-open world experience for you guys, where you can search treasure chests, solve puzzles, explore each NPC story, and uncover the secrets of the world. In the new 2.1 update, we've got the Cosmodity, which is a new event introduced for the new anniversary update. Players can log in daily to obtain dice throws and move across the board. With every action, there's a chance to trigger different tile effects, as well as draw chances and skip specific rewards. Along with that, you've got the new Clock Studios theme park, which is a new map launching for the anniversary update. Players can experience Penaconi's unique into 
entertainment culture, walk alongside Clocky and other famous characters, and experience interactive activities. And Vignettes in a Club is a new event. Players can listen to monsters' needs in the lounge, mix drinks with them, and enter their inner worlds after satisfying specific conditions. You can channel your inner drink connoisseur and watch liquids mixing in real time. And the shrinking gameplay expansion, players can now equip a missile launcher while playing as Shrunken Hanu and attack enemies by firing rockets at them. And the new character Adventurine, he's frivolous and flamboyant, and is one of the directors of IPC's strategic investment department. He's an executive who's adept at socializing. He dresses extravagantly and is generous in his actions. Although he appears frivolous, he has a certain charm about him. He's a gambler with a bold investment style, willing to take a chance with the slightest opportunity. He's an imaginary type preservation character who specializes in stacking group shield multiple times. In the new version 2.1, there'll be a plethora of new gameplay experiences, such as 2D racing, filmmaking, the Monsters League, Fever Time Battle events, Cosmodicy, and much, much more. There's a new four-star fire type abundance character, Galagar, who will be introduced. He's a laid-back hotel butler who treats visiting guests with courtesy. Two new maps, new maze gameplay, new NPCs, new monsters, and new systems will be slowly rolled out. Jinglu and Locha will be making a return, and a free 20 pools are awaiting you. Log in for seven days and receive 20 Star Rail special passes. You can use them to pull Aventurine or Acheron, who's a different character, and by logging into the game, you can receive 1,600 Stellar Jade. And Honkai, and Honkai Star Rail are celebrating a one-year anniversary with a fantastic online anniversary exhibition where we'll be discovering the four themed exhibition areas, Bellabog, Zhansao, Pelicani, and the Space Station from the comfort of your home. Then enjoy Claw Machines and Lucky Wheel, complete missions to win in-game redemption codes and draw physical rewards. There's also an offline exhibition, but some of them have already taken place, so I'll put them on screen now. So what are you guys waiting for? Download Honkai Star Rail today from the top of the link in the description or the pinned comment and use one of the redemption codes to receive 50 Stellar Jade. It's an amazing game, guys. I hope you guys do go and enjoy. Once again, down from the top of the link description or the pin comment. Okay, we found someone to 1v1. He wants to use a striker, so I, I, will, I will honor that. Let's customize the bad boy. What attachments do you guys usually put on your hammer? Bro, they're actually on. They're like actually auto locked on. Okay, my guy's cheating now, so that's 1 0. Settings. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's like I almost play box fights, but that's for her. But I can't place anything. Fiver, uh, these things are actually so good. Did I, did I make him just leave? Is he just gone? He went in to get his mommy. You want to go get his mommy? This guy, I'm. Um I'm facing in Fortnite, he's, he's out of control! He's out of control! I can't I can't beat him! He's got the aimbot settings on. <laughs> I'm gonna find a new opponent because I don't think this guy's even like capable of. Oh, he's not dead. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's currently 5 over. We got a new opponent. We got Travis Scott. One. Two. Seven. Uh. Eight. Uh. Okay, you're gonna use a really overpowered shotgun now. If you want to use overpowered shotgun, we can use overpowered shotgun. Put shotgun out. Hold on. Let me. No, no, no. Don't. I want to use an overpowered shotgun too. No, I'll just use a havoc. Why not? You want to use the overpowered shotguns? Yeah, let's do it. It's like a laser beam. Very thought. Bamboozle. Tenno. Uh, Nino. It's too easy. These settings are crazy. Okay, guys, here are his settings. I'm going to go through them very slowly so you guys have enough time to copy them down. And at the end of each segment within the settings menu, I'm actually going to pause to give you extra time to put these settings in. That means you don't have to pause the video and it's going to be great for us. Let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so he's provided quite a bit of the settings here, but some part of the settings he's left out, so I'm just going to fill them in for us. 
I'm going to copy them from my notepad on my left ear, and you copy them alongside with me. Controller auto run as off, Boolingly Builder Pro as on, but for his edit hold time, he has it on, what does he have it on? He has it on 0.1 seconds, I'm pretty sure. And for his slide hold time, he's got it on 0.1. 037 which is right here reason camera access off pitch and vibration is off now i'll give you a couple seconds to copy this down if you have enjoyed the video so far please make sure to like the video and subscribe also make sure to use code where code base in the fortnite item shop it's much appreciated thank you ever, ever so much to everyone that's using code base i really appreciate it. if you think you have code base in think you have code base in you may not guys because it resets every 14 days so make sure to check for the quick open beta mode just skip over this no one wants to use it it's stinky for the sensitivity options he uses a build mode sensitivity multiplier of 2.1 times and an edit mode sensitivity multiplier on 2.9 times and use advanced options as on now I'll give you a couple seconds to copy the sound as well. Now, the thing with his build and edit motion system multiplier is he didn't actually comment it within his newest comment. So I've just went back to his old settings that he commented and I'm just assuming he didn't tell me that he changed them because he hasn't changed them. So I just assume that 2.1 is what he uses. So I'll give you five more seconds to copy these settings down. For the look sensitivity, he has the horizontal speed on 43% and the vertical speed, what's he got it on? He's got it on, let's have a look. Oh, he's got it on, 43% also. He has no boost and no instant boost when building and no boost ramp time. So I'll give you a couple seconds to copy this down as well. And guys, you've been copying the settings down amazingly. There's something you guys have to do to make sure these settings work correctly. And let's go back to the Fortnite show. I'm putting code base literally right now. If I click cancel, I don't even have it in. So even if you think you have code base in, it actually resets every 14 days like it has for me. So make sure to go and check and put it back in. And then boom, the settings will work correctly for you guys. But also, guys, if you appreciate reading the settings videos on a weekly basis to make you the best playing for the battle royale, so hopefully you get to Unreal Rank for having it already, then use code base is a great way to support me. I really do appreciate every single person that uses code base. Thank you ever so much. Okay, once you've done that, you're good to go. Now moving down to the ADS sensitivity for his horizontal speed, he's got it on 10%. For his vertical speed, he has got it on 10% also with no boost, guys. I'll give you a couple seconds to copy this down as well. Almost just dropped my controller. <laughs> bye bye. Now moving down to his advanced activity with his look in curve and aim to strength, this is where things get a little bit weird. For his look down time, he's got it on zero seconds, which is completely normal. For his look input curve, he's got it on linear, which I know a couple of you guys would be happy about. That's the most common input curve, I think, in Fortnite Battle Royale. But for his aim to strength, what did I just do? For his aim to strength, he doesn't have it at 100%. No, no, no. That'd be stupid, wouldn't that? That'd be stupid. Why would he have it on 100%? That doesn't make any sense. He does it on zero percent. No, he doesn't. That's a joke. He plays on zero percent. If you've learned zero percent, you're probably you probably needs to put yourself into a mental health world because you're probably losing your mind. They play on fifty. No, I'll tell you what he plays on. Not ninety nine. Not ninety eight. Not ninety seven. But specifically, ninety six percent. Why? And I have no idea why. It makes no sense. But that's what he plays on. So that's what I that's what I played on. It worked. It worked pretty well. Maybe it's a glitch. For the control of dead zones, he didn't actually let me know what his dead zones are. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. I'm checking to see if he told me what they were. Um, damn. I'm scrolling past all the comments I've responded to. It was a very long time ago he originally commented. No, he didn't say what the dead zone are. So I'm going to say that the right stick dead zone is on like 7% and the left stick's on 5%. Anywhere, you guys should use anywhere probably between 7 and 10% because it's linear. And yeah, guys, those were his settings. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. We're just about to hit a million subscribers with 27,000 subscribers away now. I chose to subscribe. See you guys in a bit. Bye.